Hi everybody, welcome to lesson one of our knitting course. And in today's lesson, we are going to be talking everything needles. So as you can see, there is a whole array of needles out there. And when you're beginning, this can be very confusing and very overwhelming. So in today's lesson, I hope to talk you through your needle options and what all the different needles are for. And hopefully at the end of this lesson, you'll have a little bit more clarity on the types of needles and maybe what needle choices you would like to choose going forward for your knitting projects. And of course, you always have the option of swapping between needles and trying different ones. Okay, so let's start with plastic needles. Okay, the very obvious benefit to a plastic needle is the price point. So plastic needles are very cheap. They must be one of the cheapest needles to buy. So if you're on a budget or you are just starting your knitting and you don't want to invest a lot in knitting needles, then the plastic needles can be a good option for you. Also, if you are teaching a younger child to knit, the points on the end of the plastic needles are very blunt so for children and safety these are a good option too so these would be a good starting needle for children and also for an adult who doesn't want to spend a lot of money just wants to get the feel for knitting perhaps and doesn't want to invest a lot at this point and if you're just going to be starting out with these practicing different stitches and not doing big projects then these would be a good starting point the downside is when you develop your knitting skills and you want to go on to make larger projects such as blankets, these needles are very, very flexible and the chances are they are not going to hold the weight of a bigger project like a blanket. So you may find these are great short term and they're great for practicing and doing your little swatches, practicing different stitches on. However, when you come to do bigger projects, you may find you need to invest in some different needles. So plastic needles, a good starting point, fantastic for children because the ends aren't very sharp and they're cheap. So that is the plastic needle option. So moving on to bamboo, you have a bamboo option. Okay, so these bamboo needles are very lightweight and they're very good because they, if you're using yarn such as silk or some cottons, they help grip the yarn onto your needle and they help keep your stitches evenly spaced and they also help with tension. So when you're a beginner knitter, your tension is not going to be the greatest and this will aid that slightly for you. So bamboo is quite a good option again for a beginner knitter. So you're not going to have to worry about your stitches sliding off or moving around. The bamboo knitting needle does give you some grip to your stitches, which is great. And it will keep your stitches evenly spaced to help you see your next stitch. So bamboo is not a bad option at all for a beginner knitter. And they're very comfy to hold and they're not too sharp so again if you had an older child these are a great option and as you develop your knitting they will hold the weight of your larger projects so over the plastic needles these could be a better investment because they're perhaps going to last you a little bit longer for when you start making larger projects so that's your bamboo option. So moving on to perhaps the most common needle that you've probably come across is the metal knitting needles. And these have a very slippery surface compared to our bamboo option. Okay, and so you might find as a beginner your stitches are sliding around as it doesn't have as much grip as the bamboo. They can be heavier than the bamboo. The bamboo is very light, as is the plastic. Um, but overall, the metal 
is a very good choice for a beginner knitter because these will last you forever really and these are very very easy to get hold of which is another good point to the metal needles you will find them very cheap in charity shops you don't have to spend a lot of money again if you're just starting out you don't have to go and buy brand new needles i'm sure if you ask in your local charity shops you will find some knitting needles otherwise there are lots and lots of outlets for these and they're not overly expensive um, but I know, I know you do see them a lot in charity shops. So these are also a very, very good option. If you're starting out and you think knitting is going to be for you and you, you want to continue making larger projects, then these are a very good option. So that is the metal needles. Okay, so you may have noticed a slight difference between this type of needle and this, which is this has a cable running through it as has these so if you open them out you have a cable running between each needle whereas with these you don't the this is for knitting um, in rounds and magic loop knitting which I'm not going to confuse you with in this lesson I just wanted to show you the different types of needle so as a start starting point I wouldn't invest in circular needles at the moment okay further on as we go through the projects, then you might want to invest in the circulars. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that this is an option you will see in knitting shops and not to actually confuse yourself with these at this point. Okay, so only go and choose a straight knitting needle option for now. And then we'll move on to the circulars as we go through our knitting course. So another type of needle you will see as an option are these. Okay, and these are called DPNs, and these are double pointed needles. So these you have, one end is pointed and the other has the topper with the size on normally at the end, okay? And these are DPNs because they have a point at this end and a point at this end. So they are double pointed needles, and these are used a lot for sock knitting. Okay, they can be used for knitting gloves and hats and things as well, but majority of the time these are used for socks. So again, do not invest in these as a beginner knitter. You will not need them um, a lot further on into your knitting journey. But again, I just wanted to show you if you see them in the shops, not to confuse them with these. The other type of needle you'll see are these. Okay, and these are cable needles. So again, as a beginner, you won't need to worry about these until we do some projects further into our knitting course. Um, but these are for holding stitches when you're doing cable work. So again, I just wanted to show you what they are. So if you see them, you don't need to get confused or overwhelmed with all the different types. All you need to focus on at this point in time are really these three options here. So we disregard these because we're not at that point and we don't need the circulars at the moment, so we've moved those. So for today's lesson, you really need to focus on deciding what needle option is best suited to you at this point of your knitting journey ready for us to carry on and begin learning our stitches. So plastic, metal, bamboo, entirely up to you, which one you feel is best suited for yourself. Okay, so another point I want to make about knitting needles at this point before moving on, because again, this can be very confusing. I'm just going to move these out of the way. Okay, so there is one thing I'd like to point out and just make you aware of with the sizing of the knitting needles. And this, you might come across this, especially in charity shops, if you're purchasing them from there. And it might confuse you slightly if you're not aware of this. But there are three different sizing systems for knitting needles around. And you will find the size marked on the top of each needle 
Okay, so this here is a four millimeter and this one here is an eight. Okay, but that is not an eight millimeter. So what happens is you have an EU metric system, which is in millimeters, which is this. Okay, so this needle is different to this. So this is not an eight millimeter. This eight, where it hasn't got millimeters written on, it's just a number, is the old UK system. Okay, so this metric four millimeter needle is actually an old eight. So these two needles are exactly the same size. Okay, so that is where it can be a little bit confusing as a beginner if you're not aware that there are different systems in place. So you have your metric system and you have your old UK system. And then you also have US um, system as well. Okay, so their sizes will go zero, one, two, um, things like that as well, which can get very confusing. But I just wanted to make you aware of being aware that the millimetre sizing is different to the old UK sizing. Okay, and um, what I'll do is I'll insert a chart here for you because I know this may be a little bit confusing and I don't want it to be confusing. I don't want it to overwhelm you. I just want to make it, you aware of when you're looking for your needles to be very aware of whether it says millimetres. I think that's the easiest way going forward. Just make sure if it has millimetres on it, then that's the EU metric. If it has just a number, then be, be just aware that's not millimetres. Okay, so that is not an eight millimetre needles. That is an old UK eight, which is the same as a four millimetre. Okay, so I'll put the chart up now just to make that a little bit clearer for you. And all that's left for you to do now is to choose what type of knitting needle you're going to go for. So I hope this has made it a little bit clearer of your options and maybe given you an idea of what type of needle you would like to start on. OK, if you're confused on sizes, because, of course, you can go from you know, very small needle, 1.5 millimetre, right through um, to say like a 25 millimetre needle. There's lots and lots of different options. As a beginner, I would just choose something like a four millimetre knitting needle. Um, this will do your double knit, which is what we'll be using going forward within our practice. And at this stage, a four millimetre is just a very generic middle of the road knitting needle that is not too small for you to practice on and not too chunky that is going to be hard to handle. So I would advise if you can find a four millimetre needle, then then do by all means get yourself a four millimetre. If you have um, five millimetre needles already or any other size, then obviously you can do do use those just bear in mind as we go through the knitting course if we're using a double knit weight yarn that would be used on a four millimeter needle then just bear in mind you're going to up your needle size to a five millimeter or larger depending on what the yarn requires okay so i hope that has helped just explain the very first step of knitting and the tools that we are going to be using in the beginning and i hope you have a little bit more clarity now and not so overwhelmed with all the options out there when you walk into your knitting shops um, and you have a wall full of needles and you're just overwhelmed and you just don't know what they're for and which one to go for so i really hope this has helped don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell button. And that means you will not miss the next knitting lesson. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video for knitting lesson number two. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.